What's up guys, it's Super Unitato, and today is the first episode in the series about ComputerCraft and open computers from Minecraft, uh, both mods from Minecraft. <clears throat> Another mod you might notice right away is Furniture Mod by Mr. Crayfish. Crayfish, not that big of a deal, but um, I just use it for aesthetics, not really what we're looking at. But today we're going to be looking at the basics of ComputerCraft and how to get started with it. This is like for total noobs who know nothing. So let's take a look inside, and I'll also leave the code for usually anything I do or showcase in my episode uh, in Pastebin, which will be in a link in the description, along with all the mods used in this episode. So this one, I have three monitors saying different stuff. Uh, welcome to Super Potatoes Computer Coder Episode 1, Basics of CC, short for Computer Craft. So let's get right into it what do you need a you need a computer which is about seven stone piece of redstone glass pane nothing nothing uh out of the ordinary but i'll tell you this though if you're gonna start a computer craft i would be getting a lot of stone so let's place that on a computer there's our first computer as you know it's not blinking click on it it'll blink just it's just one of those things anyway next thing you might want to get is a monitor which is just a stone glass pane. Again, you're going to want a lot of stone. And basically it's connected textures like this that create one monitor. You can raise it by however much you want. It doesn't have to be this wide either or tall as long as it's all connected. And then you'll notice, since I didn't put down this last block, <coughs> these are two separate monitors. So this is monitor one, this is monitor two. Place this block here, all monitor one now. So that's like about as basic as you can get with computer craft. And a lot of people use computer craft in this way, just get out get it to print out stuff. So let's look at it let's uh, get into code a little bit. We'll talk about turtles and stuff later. But this is just the basics. So let's see. You go in here, you wanna I don't know, you wanna say you wanna look at all the programs. So you type in programs, it'll give you a list. This is pre programmed stuff. And anything here is already come with the computer. You don't have to do anything. So let's just say you want to make your own program. And this is coded in Lua, by the way. So everything you do at ComputerCraft has to be in Lua. Um, if you're going into coding for college, you want to study it, that's what I'm doing. I'm a computer science major. Um, I've never heard of anyone or anything using Lua. Unfortunately, it's the only way this runs. So you got to learn it a little bit. I still don't know it fully. So we want to make a program called welcome and in any program this is pretty much how you start out so now we just made a new program so let's just save exit there's nothing really save but if we go into here no not program programs you'll see over here my uh my program has been listed with programs it's now a new program that can be executed even though if you were to execute it absolutely nothing would happen because no code is put in there all right, so let's get back into our program, and let's just tell it to print hello. No, that's nice. Well, hello world, and let's save this. Exit. You have to press Control, by the way, and they'll present you with the option to save or exit, and use the arrow keys as such. So let's run. Welcome. And as you can see, hello world comes out, and then a new line, meaning I could do anything now because my program welcomed, my program welcome was executed, and it ended with no problems. So if we want to get back into welcome, we can do, let's talk about how to um, get it to uh, print out some monitors, big monitors. So we're going to go over prints, basically, in this episode. Really basic stuff. So let's go to monitor equals peripheral dot wrap right. And um, <clears throat> in between the quotes here, you put uh, whatever side the monitor's on. Uh, we'll talk about how to wire it through modems and such at a later episode. Not today, though. And then we'll hit a monitor dot right 
Oh, come on now. Hello world. And close. Save it. Exit. Now when we run welcome, nothing pops up on this screen. But over here, hello welcome, or welcome, prints out hello world on top, just like so. So that's real basic stuff. Uh, we can get rid of this now. Now, we can look at uh, advanced monitors and such. Uh, there's no real difference other than they're much easier to use. But as you can see, they're a little more expensive, require gold. Uh, if you have uh, another plugin called CC Tweaks, you can just get a little upgrade here. And that upgrade takes gold, so it's, pretty, it's literally the same thing. Almost, might as well just make an advanced monitor. So we get ourselves an advanced monitor, and or an advanced computer, excuse me. And an advanced monitor is literally the same recipe, just with gold. Very simple stuff. And as you can see here, advanced monitor just looks different. Make our big thing. And let's get um, open programs again. Uh, just about the same. Maybe a little bit more programming, like implemented programs. Nothing you couldn't write in the regular one, though. So let's edit welcome. We have to rewrite this because... We broke the computer that our program was on, and our computer, our programs don't like, they don't save to your world save, and they can just execute it on any computer you want. Your program either has to be copied onto a floppy disk, or redirected through modems, which we'll talk about later. So anyway, we can do um, a bunch of different things. We'll go through basics and such. We'll do, uh, since we already looked at pretty much everything for your uh, actual computer, for printing wise, we can do cool stuff with an advanced monitor that you cannot do with a regular monitor. So we'll do equal peripheral, oh, peripheral dot wrap. Uh, what side is that again? Right side? Okay, and now we can do a whole bunch of things, like change the colors. So if I just press escape, uh, this will save by the way, you're okay to press escape, just don't log out. Otherwise, you'll probably lose it. I haven't tested that yet, but so you see how this is like white, and the regular monitor is black. The regular monitor can only stay in black. The advanced monitor can uh, change colors, though. So if we want to monitor, I guess well, monitor, right? I'm still spelling it right, Jesus. Monitor dot set. Why is it not giving me the background? color there we are one save exit welcome all right we're back this time i couldn't figure out why my program wasn't working but it turned out to be just like a graphical issue a bug maybe i don't know but i just took down one layer of the monitor and it it worked so we'll go through it anyway uh ignore that program I just made it. It doesn't really matter. So, um, edit, welcome. We're going to do some cool stuff with the uh, advanced monitor and uh, advanced computer that you can't do with uh, the regular one. So, A, watch this. Very important. You can click to where you want the cursor to be. On a regular computer, can't do that. You have to use all arrow keys. Another thing I'll show you that's with the uh, advanced monitor is you can do monitor dot set background color to colors dot and whatever you want it to be. Um, I'll probably I'll leave a link in the description for like what colors you can actually use. Can't use like any color you want. There's just like a set number. But uh let's just do that. Save exit. Now we do welcome. It's doing the thing again. See, it does it, it, I don't know. So let's see if we can fix it though. Actually, let's turn it to black again. Also not working, but if I do this, seems to be an issue with um, a graphical issue, which sucks. But I'm going to make sure it's a graphical issue and I'm not just messing up. Alright, we're back. So it does seem to be an issue with computer craft. 
So if we go back in here, how I fixed it was um, I added the monitor.clear, which pretty much just wipes everything off the monitor, and then sets it to the color. But as we can see, it's black right now. So we type in welcome. Won't happen. Nothing happens. As you can see, the screen's still black behind me. Welcome again. Screen turns white. Uh, I'll just look at the code for black real quick. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, yeah, it just, except that it set the color to black. So if we exit this and then run black, nothing happens. Black again. It turns black. Uh, not sure why it does that. If I figure out a reason later, I'll let you guys know. But let's get into welcome. And now we can, now that the, we set the color to white, we can do tell it to monitor dot set text color to colors dot red also a color on the list we can also tell it to do monitor monitor dot set text no not text or text scale to I don't know three and now we can tell it to do monitor dot right uh, monitor can only do dot write, not dot print. Well, actually, I think it can do print. Never mind. No, it can't. Um, so just ignore everything. It only does write. Um, do monitor dot write. I don't know. <sighs> Welcome. If you could type, it would be appreciated. And also, another thing with advanced monitors, it tells you what's in quotes, what's in not. So it's, it's kind of helpful. So uh, let's save this. Exit, type in welcome. And now it's on a scale three, much bigger than the little spot it did there. And it's white and the text is red. So yeah, it's pretty much basics for computer craft. Uh, next episode we'll see what happens. Not sure yet. But uh, yeah, see you guys later.